Hi and welcome to Explore My England. The sun is out here in England today. We're on Bowden Hill, which is about three miles away from Laycock, which is the village, the National Trust village that we're going to have a look at today. So let's go and have a look. The beautiful medieval village of Laycock lies about three miles south of the town of Chippenham on the A350. In the north of the county of Wiltshire. Here we are then in Laycock village and this is the High Street. Now it's all run by the National Trust which is a conservation charity protecting wonderful buildings, countryside and coastline for future generations. The High Street is a good place to start your tour and as you'll see... It's a, a fully functioning village though, you've got um, a school, uh, a shop, uh, a telephone box, all sorts of um, normal village amenities, uh, but uh, as I say it's preserved by the National Trust so it stays exactly as it is. The village was first mentioned in the Doomsday Survey in 1086. Laycock was flourishing due to its proximity to the London to Bath Road. During the Middle Ages, the village's main source of income in the 13th and 14th centuries was from wool and cloth. Uh, there were spinners, weavers and even chair-making industries. Later, there were leather tanning yards and the farming community was also thriving. In 1783, a new road to Bath, uh, the current A4, was created, so Laycock was no longer the main route. Laycock's industrial heritage began to die out, and by the 19th century, most of the businesses in Laycock were blacksmiths, carpenters and masons. Laycock has been used for many film locations over the years, including Pride and Prejudice, Harry Potter, and this street, Church Street, uh, was used as the Market Street uh, in Downton Abbey. And you can pick up a little guide booklet uh, from the Information Centre, which tells you all the locations of the movies and TV shows which have been filmed here. Walking down Church Street, you'll pass the beautiful St. Syriac's Church, uh, commemorating a Norman saint. The church dates back as far as the 11th century, with 13th century parts still to be found today. Off Church Street, down Nethercote Hill Lane, is the Bide Brook, with its ford and bridge. Uh, this was the only crossing point into the village until the 17th century. Uh, the stream eventually runs into the larger River Avon nearby. There are some quaint cottage shops around the village selling all manner of crafts and gifts as well as organic produce. Local residents also sell homemade goods, including jams and honey. There are some lovely cafes to visit where you can get a cup of tea or a bite to eat and also several pubs around the village if you fancy a pint or a glass of wine. Interestingly, the birth of photography in Britain uh, started in this quaint English village. The scientist and inventor William Henry Fox Talbot, who resided in the Abbey, created which is now thought to be the world's earliest surviving negative. 
The Fox Talbot Museum is now housed in this 16th century former stables and tells the story of the conception and early years of photography here in the UK and is well worth a visit. And speaking of the lovely Laycock Abbey, let's have a walk down there and take a closer look. We're in the grounds of Laycock Abbey amongst the uh, lovely cedars and oaks. Now, uh, the abbey was thought to be built by Ella of Salisbury in 1232. She chose this place because it was a wonderful place in Wiltshire alongside the River Avon. Ella, the third Countess of Salisbury, was an English peeress succeeding to the title in her own right in 1196. Upon the death of her father, the Earl William Fitzpatrick, Ella founded the abbey originally as a nunnery of the Augustinian order, becoming its first abbess. Uh, you can follow this magnificent house's 800 years of history, exploring inside its rooms and strolling its garden and grounds. So that uh, concludes our visit to Laycock uh, Village and the Abbey today. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it in this uh, lovely summer sunshine. Don't forget to check out our website, uh, details in the description below. And we'll see you next time on Explore My England. Cheerio for now.